One of the most exciting things, though it's much more experimental than the cord blood, is the ability to take the cord tissue. So if you take the tissue from the umbilical cord, those are the cells that divide into many, many different parts of the body, including the spleen, the kidneys, uh, spinal uh, cord, uh, nerve cells, or the cells that make insulin. And the hope is that we will be able to use those cells in the future for people who have diseases like that. Right now, it's experimental. So we know we can take those cells from the umbilical cord, we can process them and freeze them, and then we know that we can uh, thaw them and they'll actually grow. So we know that they survived that process. So far, we have not been able to make them into anything that's clinically useful, but there are a lot of trials going on now to try to do that. So I'm very excited about that, and I, we have made it much, much cheaper than other uh, banks in order to do this, um, and uh, I think it's a, a very exciting prospect.